Hey friends, welcome to our channel once again. We were learning many many concepts related to cultural studies. Today in this video, we will learn about the social construction of the space. So we have already learned some concepts related to the space as an idea, as a uh, as a concept of cultural studies. We have already learned about the mall as a space, urban space and we have learned how space is important in cultural studies, how space is important in constructing ideas and constructing identity and lifestyle and all. So we will learn many other things in the upcoming videos about space. Today in this video we will learn about the social construction of the space, how certain spaces are constructed socially and how that is important so this is going to be a very short video stay tuned to me and before that visit my website uh, www.highpoint.in uh, have the free trial and see what we have provided there and if you are interested have all of them after subscribing to the course uh, along with the free bonuses of uh, personalized study guidelines and uh, weekly test going on every Saturday so if you want to know anything more related to the uh, course materials and the bonuses or the fee structure you can whatsapp me or call me in this number or use the Instagram ID follow me on Instagram if you have not yet followed and also subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon while you subscribe before starting the video itself okay now moving on about an introduction about the social uh, construction of the space Social relations determine the nature and extent of space. So what kind of social relation that you have? Your social relation with other persons. Your social relation with your neighboring homes. That kind of space you will have. That will be the extent and nature of the space. Think about the place you are working. The social relationship that you have about the colleagues, the, the, the kind of work that you are doing in a space that determines the nature and extent of the space. Difference between space and place. So what is the main difference between space and place? Space is an abstraction. It's an idea, a concept. The place is a place. It's a living place. Space. Space is place is live space. So what does that mean? When you say somebody, your colleagues, your partner, your lover, I need some space. Don't crowd me. So what does that mean? Space is not a geographical territory that you are referred, but space is an abstract idea. It's a concept where you have a particular kind of space, a particular kind of, uh, you know, freedom, a particular kind of identity, a particular kind of, uh, you know, behavior that you can have uh, you know you, when you say that you need space means you need certain kind of freedom okay the space the urban space means what it has certain it's not a point but it's a it's an abstract idea urban space means what where big buildings will be there so it has a certain characteristic right so space is an abstraction it's an idea or concept but place is leave space so place is something which is a territory uh, in which this space can happen. So urban area is a particular territory. But urban space is that with all these characteristics of urban space in that place, urban space we can see. Okay. Space is designed on paper and in theories. So the concepts about the abstract idea space is designed on papers and theories. Places when people occupy that space. See, the house is a space, the home is a space. But people when occupy a certain characteristic space in a certain way, then that become a house. So the place is where people occupy in these spaces that we are abstractly constructed on papers and theories. When these spaces are occupied people, that is place. So places when people occupy that space, build on it and living in it. Okay. Place is about human experience, meaning and identity. So place about human experience, meaning and identity. So space and place both are connected but both are different too. Social practices, walking, shopping, sports events, children playing, public meeting determine the nature of the place. So what kind of public and social practices and activities that you are doing in a place determines the space, determines the concepts related to that space. 
the place that you are going to walk where you are going to shop where you uh, participate in a sports event children playing public meeting so that it means the nature of the space uh, sorry the nature of the place so certain activities are happening in a place then that become a space for that activity okay now example a place where public meetings are held might not be conducive to spend a leisurely evening with the family so you are doing a public meeting in a ground in an open ground that may not be conducive or feasible to use or spend as a space for leisurely activity leisurely evening with the family so the the space that you have for this public meeting cannot be simultaneously used for a space as a leisure uh, sp uh, space spent for leisurely evening with their family both are different women may not want to go to a certain kind of places because the concept about that space is different certain places they are comfortable certain other places they are not comfortable because space is different okay the the abstract idea about that place that is space is different empty spaces within a city attracts squatters before the land owner or the state evicted them so the empty spaces it suppose in a rural uh, sorry in a in an urban area evicted people or the criminals or um, you know the destitute people such people got attracted to empty spaces okay so, so that empty spaces will become you know certain kind of uh, you know that place will become synonymous to certain other kind of concepts you know that kind of identity will get naturally associated to that na not naturally but culturally practice by practice that kind of uh, identity will get associated to them so in that way space is so important place when people get occupied to that space sorry that place then that becomes a place when people got occupied in a territory in a place then that place becomes a space because it got an identity it got a concept abstract ideas culturally some abstract ideas are associated to it that way the place becomes a space children's place are marked by enhanced fortification because we assume that children need greater safety so according to the activities are uh, happening inside a place in a place that way the concept about that space will emerge that means take the example of children's park it will always fortified there will be big walls at least grills will be there in order to protect the children why that place gives such an identity that it is used by children and need to be fortified for their safety so thus playgrounds will have gates and fences for walls security and surveillance so in that that's why we have surveillance fences walls for playgrounds as we practice our practices in a certain place determines the nature of the space and according to that uh, some constructions or some that place will turn into a particular kind of space in order to occupied by the people social construction of space defines spaces of work spaces of leisure spaces of consumption like shopping spaces of intimate relations family so social construction of space as people you know how what way and what is the character of the relation with people that social relation will construct space your house is occupied or your house is a building right that building is occupied in a particular place then how come that becomes a space when what kind of social relation is happening there according to that so if it is a space of work that kind of social construction you can see in that space if it is a place for leisure then that kind of a social construction you can see in a park it's if it is a space of consumption then that kind of social construction is available there space of intimate relation there too that kind of a relation social construction is available there okay such a social construction of space is also evolved the question of time 
so here in the social construction of space what is the more important time space is also determined by time so that's how for a particular time period this house will be like this after a certain time time something else must be must have replaced this so according to the time the point of time space got determined because space actually it's an abstract idea so our change in ideas and practice and culture will directly affect this concept of space now so that's all about the social construction of space this was so simple and you can imagine and you can understand by yourself if you think of any space and place okay so if you have any doubts put that all of that in the comment section and visit my website follow me on instagram subscribe to my channel press the like button if you like this video and also whatsapp me or call me if you want to know anything related to the course that we are providing or anything that we have discussed so far okay meet you in the next video session until then stay tuned to high point bye bye